Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to open a bank account in Dubai for non-residents. Opening a bank account in the UAE as a non-resident is an increasingly popular objective among global entrepreneurs, investors, and people looking to do business in the region. The United Arab Emirates offers relative political stability and economic prosperity, especially when compared to the other countries in the Middle East region. Additionally, its advanced banking sector gives non-residents access to multi-currency accounts with IBAN numbers to easily transact internationally. But of course, there are important restrictions and challenges for foreigners to be aware of. In most cases, visiting the United Arab Emirates in person is realistically required to open an account as a non-resident. And the types of accounts and products available to non-residents will be limited. So in this kind of guide, we're going to be talking about all kinds of things around banking in the United Arab Emirates as a non-resident that you need to know. There are so many appealing factors that attract people and foreigners to bank in the United Arab Emirates, which include the political and economic stability. Unlike much of the other countries in the region, the UAE offers relative stability and security for banking. The country has avoided conflict while building substantial foreign cash reserves from oil exports. Confidentiality is another important reason. The UAE banking confidentiality laws make it privacy friendly relative to other Asian countries. Bank account information is not automatically shared with foreign tax authorities. You will also have IBAN access as UAE banks provide account holders with IBAN numbers for seamless transfers to and from Europe. This saves significant time and fees compared to other offshore kind of jurisdictions. And finally, low account freezes. Reports suggest lower risk of account freezes or sudden closures compared to other foreign banking destinations. So for these kind of reasons, the UAE attracts those looking to diversify funds abroad into a relatively secure Middle East financial hub. However, it's absolutely crucial for non-residents to understand the major restrictions placed on foreign account holders per guidance from the UAE central bank. You have limited account types. Typically, only standard saving accounts are available and non-residents are barred from opening current or checking accounts. You won't have any lending products as access to credit cards, personal loans, mortgages, and other lending is prohibited. And we also have the in-person account opening. With very rare exceptions, visiting a UAE bank branch in person is required to open an account as a non-resident. Remote opening is not permitted. So while you have the stability relative to nearby countries, non-residents will still face considerable limitations on the type of accounts and products available to them. The central bank places tight controls around foreign account holders. There are seven distinct emirates that make up the United Arab Emirates. However, Dubai by far is the most popular one. Dubai is the business, financial, and shopping hub of the entire UAE. Home to massive free trade zones like to the DMCC and Dubai International Financial Center, it attracts non-residents already doing business in the region or who visit regularly. Bank account opening can be easier than the other emirates, especially with mid-sized local banks. And while sometimes it is possible through special circumstances, opening a UAE bank account fully remotely as a non-resident, unfortunately still remains very difficult. Visiting a UAE bank in person is realistically required for foreigners wanting to open an account. And I'm going to be providing you with an overview of the standard steps to opening an account during an in-person visit. So select the emirate that you want to open an account in. For this video, we're going to be talking about the Dubai one. Thoroughly search banks located in Dubai that may be more open to accepting non-resident account applications. Some of the top tier banks like the Emirates and BD, ADCB and Mushrik, etc. can sometimes work. But smaller and mid-sized locally owned banks are often more flexible. So reach out to collect basic eligibility criteria before traveling. As a non-resident, you will need to collect and translate key identity documents, likely including your valid passport copy and possibly additional IDs, proof of current residential address, bank reference letter, and documents supporting your source of funds or income. Requirements may vary by bank, so confirm exactly what's needed up front and make sure documents are properly translated if not originally in English or Arabic. Having a UAE point of contact or referee can help strengthen your application. Once you've identified your promising bank option, plan your travel to the UAE. So aim to be on the ground for at least 5 plus business days minimum to complete the full account opening process. Schedule your appointment with the bank branch for soon after arriving. And then during your pre-booked in-branch meeting, present your prepared documents and account opening application. The relationship manager will evaluate your request and inform you if you've been conditionally approved, need to provide more information, or have been for some reason declined. The approval decision can take anywhere from 24 hours to 5 plus business days, so be prepared to take multiple visits to the branch to finalize the process. 
And that covers the standard process of traveling to the UAE in person as required to open an account for non-residents. It's not exactly quick or easy, but with the right preparation and persistence, foreigners can successfully open UAE bank accounts. So as noted previously, non-residents face restrictions on the type of accounts that they can open with the UAE banks, but typically they are limited to standard savings account, multi-currency accounts, and fixed term deposit accounts. As of right now, checking accounts, credit cards, personal loans, mortgages, and other lending facilities will generally be off limits and unavailable to foreigners without residency. Banks also enforce strict conditions around non-resident accounts with minimum opening and ongoing balance requirements, limits on incoming and outgoing transaction sizes, and even frequency, and penalties for low account activity or balances. So in summary, while your options as a non-resident will be quite reduced compared to UAE residents or citizens, you can still access standard savings and multi-currency accounts with basic features like the IBANs, debit cards, and online banking. So to wrap things up, you have a complete kind of basic overview of banking in the UAE as a non-resident, and the UAE provides a promising opportunity for non-residents seeking a stable Middle East banking hub. However, it does require some knowledge and expertise to navigate properly as a foreigner. Thank you for watching this video. Let us know in the comment section down below if you have any other questions. And if you found today's video to be helpful or even informative to watch, then let us know by giving it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we create similar to this one.